How do you make the molecular orbital diagram for the Li2 plus ion? Start by drawing in the highest energy atomic orbitals associated with each individual lithium atom. By looking at the periodic table, we can see that the electric configuration for lithium is equal to 1s2, 2s1, showing us that the highest energy atomic orbitals in lithium are the 2s atomic orbitals. To start our molecular orbital diagram, we will draw in these 2s atomic orbitals for each individual lithium atom. And remember to put them at the exact same energy level. Then we need to draw in the two molecular orbitals for lithium. Remember that the total number of orbitals is always conserved in your molecular orbital diagram. So if we start with two atomic orbitals, like we have in this case, we must make two molecular orbitals. One of the molecular orbitals will be lower in energy than the atomic orbitals, and the other will be higher in energy. The molecular orbital that is lower in energy is a bonding molecular orbital called the sigma 2s bonding molecular orbital. And the one that is higher in energy is an antibonding molecular orbital called the sigma 2s star antibonding molecular orbital. Remember to connect your original atomic orbitals with your new molecular orbitals. Next, we need to fill in our diagram with electrons. How many electrons or valence electrons does a lithium atom have? Lithium has one valence electron. However, because we are working with the Li2 plus ion, one of these lithium atoms needs to become a cation. So it doesn't matter which one you choose, but for our purposes, let's just choose this lithium atom on the left to become a positive cation. And this means we take away that one electron. So this becomes a positive cation, and now there are zero electrons here. And so combined, the Li2 plus molecule will now have one electron in total to go into the molecular orbitals. So we have no electrons in this 2s orbital on the left. In the, the 2s orbital on the right, we have one electron to put in. Then the single electron right here will fall into the lowest energy molecular orbital, the bonding molecular orbital. And we know this because we start with the start filling the lowest molecular orbitals or energy levels first because of the off bound principle. So we will fill in this molecular orbital with one electron. And this is our completed molecular orbital diagram for the Li2 plus ion. Next, what is the bond order for Li2 plus? The bond order tells us the stability of a bond or the strength of a bond, and also tells us the number of electron pairs involved in this bond. So the bond order is equal to one half times the number of bonding electrons, which are present in the sigma 2s bonding molecular orbital, minus the number of antibonding electrons, which are present in the higher energy sigma 2s star antibonding molecular orbital. So for Li2+, plus, the bond order is equal to 1 half times the number of bonding electrons, of which there's 1, minus the number of antibonding electrons, of which there's 0. 1 half times 1 is equal to 1 half, which means that half of an electron pair is involved in a bond between the lithium atoms in an Li2 plus molecule, which means that one electron is involved in this bond. This also means that a bond order of 1 half corresponds to half of a covalent bond between these two lithium atoms in the Li2 plus molecule. Finally, is Li2 plus paramagnetic or is it diamagnetic? Because there is an unpaired electron in the Li2 plus molecular orbitals, we know that Li2 plus must exhibit paramagnetism. And we can say that it is paramagnetic. which implies that Li2 plus is weakly attracted to an external magnetic field. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.